after we defined the exact solution or after we got the exact solution we need to build our network now our network will have only one input and only one output as we said before the input is very simple it's time and the output is also simple which is the location of this mass so we only have one input and one output for this neural network the type of neural network will be feed forward neural network in which the information will go from um, well left to right or like only forward so we will have time value will go input and uh, as an input and the neural network will compute that will will basically it will be multiplied by the uh, the weights of this neural networks and of course uh, added to biases inside this neural networks and then at the inside of this neural network we will get our value so this is how it works this is the feed forward neural network and in order to write the neural network you need to to do it as we do any um, neural network for using pytorch which we will define first we define the class and then we call it feed forward neural network and then pass the nn.module module to this network and then we will define the init function just uh, this of course this library or this uh, package will be taken from the pytorch like from here so torch.nn as in n we will take it from here and then of course pass to the actual uh, class uh, for this now first thing is to to write the actual um, to pass the important values or the defining values to this neural network we have to put self and then we have to in input which is number of inputs in our case we said it's one and number of output let's have a little bit zoom in and number of hidden layers as we said it's a feed forward neural network in which we will have one uh, input hidden layers one output in our case we will define one hidden layer of course you can define two or three it's, it's up to you and yeah so uh, but here number of hidden layer mean number of hidden means not layers number of hidden neurons this means and here one one and here we can put 32 33 40 64 uh, this is 128 or always usually they put it 32 64 128 something that is in our in the, uh, the usual practice so here is the init and then we pass super super dot init and what does it do is to take this module and pass it to this function this is why we put it in here now activation activation function is going to be in in tan h of course means tan h our activation uh, function we just define it in this and the activation function is after the numbers goes into the neurons get multiplied and uh, by a weight and and added to a bias it will go through the activation function that's it very simple so here we define the network self dot feed forward uh, or feed forward neural network input is going to be in in sequential sequential and it will be in n dot or let me close it in 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 dot linear and it will have input input now here one input and many hidden layer neurons so the first one neurons will have one value and then it will give us this value to the hidden layers and of course the activation function we take it here and activation activation 
is here and make sure you put these two because this is also a class and we have to define it this way so we put it in this way we don't have to pass anything here just put it this way so now this is the input and what is the what do we need to do is hidden and exit and some we continue basically here hidden and this exit the hidden layer will have hidden input and hidden output and the exit will have um will have hidden layer out uh, hidden layer and then it will sum everything to the neural network output and for that we don't need actually activation function so we only have this so after that we define def forward and here will be self and x what does it mean x any value basically in our case time value starting from time value and then the, the numbers will keep propagating so this this what does it mean so x at the beginning will be self and dot if input we will have it pass passing through x uh, through the input layer which is one input will have this x value coming inside and then output as number of hidden layer we can actually print it so we can actually if you want you can just print x and you can see how the values propagate so uh, here is the x x and then it will pass again into hidden layer and if you want to add one hidden layer another hidden layer you can just pass it here and the last thing is we need to pass it through the exit layer so this is this is the network this is what we have as uh, the network x will come a value will come it will go into input uh, layer and then one hidden layer one hidden layer and then one exit layer very simple and then what we will have is return uh, we return x which is the output of the network in our case is the output which is the location of this um, uh, mass shift enter to run this thing and now it's already ran like of course you can see here now we can also we can actually plot it and we can see the not plot it i would say like just um, see what kind like summarize what is the uh, network uh, like uh, this uh, network so the but first let's uh, just randomize everything the values in this uh, network manual see it and then we just one two three and let's uh, let's uh, print it so pin equals forward feed forward network which is basically just take this num name we can actually copy it in case don't get something wrong and then we will pass in number of input number of output and number of hidden layer N number of hidden neurons not layer. layer layer we decided by here in here so number of inputs number of outputs number of hidden uh, layer neurons so number of input neurons is one number of input output neurons is one number of hidden neurons is 32 and then shift enter you want to see this thing you just put it here and shift enter you can see the actual network you have uh, next time we will basically understand a little bit uh, maybe change a little bit of these uh, features these uh, num let's say number of hidden layers and we see how it will affect the training process and of course we will also define the training process of our network so see you next week